Welcome to episode one of our video series, The Light Shines In from the Haas Motorcycle Museum. As I said at the end of the introduction, we're going to be involved with storytelling here. Each episode will tell a story, and it will tell a story about both cycles and about human nature. And I will be your storyteller for this episode and probably future episodes. I want to tell you, first off, I am not an expert about motorcycles. I barely know how a motorcycle is put together. If you ask me how a carburetor works, I may give you a fairly decent idea. If you tell me I want to know the difference between two-stroke and four-stroke engines, I'll tell you two strokes have two strokes and four have four. And if you ask me to describe hub-centric steering, I will be at a total loss. But I do know something about human nature, and I do know something about beauty. And my schooling for learning about human nature was being involved in about 40 years of negotiating when I was in private equity. And if you negotiate, you need to learn what the other person is thinking. You need to learn what makes them happy and what makes them uh, revolt at our, our discussions. And in terms of beauty, I spent 10 years as a photographer with National Geographic. And that was my schooling for learning about beauty. It was also my schooling for learning about images and images telling a story, because that's what we were told at National Geographic. Your images must tell a story. And I think our motorcycles must tell a story. So stay tuned, we're going to tell you a story about beauty and about human nature in this episode. One of my favorite eras in terms of the design of motorcycles, the design of cars, art, architecture, is the Art Deco period. The Art Deco period refers to the period of the 1920s and the 1930s. It was the period between the carnage and the destruction of World War I and it was before World War II. So style and art and architecture were just blossoming at that time, and it's reflected in the motorcycles of the day. Let's take a look at a few. By a French manufacturer, Tarot, and a Bernadette sidecar. Absolutely a stunning, stunning piece of machinery, which was designed, believe it or not, 93 years ago. It's clearly been restored, but that's the original motorcycle, the original sidecar. Then we have the Praga motorcycle with a favorite sidecar. This is 92 years old, manufactured in the Czech Republic. It is an extremely rare motorcycle sidecar combination. Just, just gorgeous. And now we're going to come to the big three. This is like seeing Ruth Gehrig and DiMaggio. This is the new motorcycle. The blue one is the new motorcycle from 1929, a French motorcycle designed by George Roy. We're going to talk about George more in a moment. The next one, the red one, is the Majestic, also designed by George Roy. And George only manufactured about 100 of the new and 100 of the Majestic. Just look at that stunning piece of machinery. And the third one, same era, in fact, the same year, 1929, the Ascot Pullen. The Ascot Pullen was restored by one brother for another brother. Uh, and it, too, is considered to be one of the rarest and most stunning examples of Art Deco manufacturing of motorcycles. Let's chat about George Roy for a moment. George is our first human story of the day. George Roy was not a motorcycle designer or builder before he became one. He had absolutely no prior experience doing that. He was a textile executive, and he designed this magnificent new motorcycle, only built about 100 of them. They were not a commercial success. So he went to the Majestic, and he built about 100 of those, designed those as well. Some people believe, I probably am one of them, that this is the most beautiful motorcycle ever designed. This was not a commercial success either. Both of these motorcycles are rare. In fact, we think we may be the only museum in the world that has one of the new motorcycle and one of the Majestic. 
You may wonder why I relate so well to George Roy. George Roy was a business executive before he went into motorcycles. I was a business executive before I went into motorcycles. He was not a moto head. I'm not a moto head. But he was focused on physical beauty and innovation and not on commercial success. And that's exactly what I'm focused on, physical beauty and innovation. My last story of the day is the story of how that Majestic ended up in our museum. One day I got a call from a very dear friend of mine who's a motorcycle restoration expert and collector by the name of Serge Bueno. Serge speaks mostly French and a little bit of English and I'm just the opposite, so I'll, I'll make this story in English, which is not how the conversation took place. But Serge said, Bobby, 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 I have a Majestic. Uh, do you uh, have any interest in a Majestic? And I said, Serge, I've been looking for a Majestic for almost two years. I said, but how do you know it's authentic? Because it's so rare and it's so valuable. He said, I know, I know, I know. Bien sûr, I'm very, very sure. And I said, well, you need to tell me, how are you, are you so sure? And he said, do you trust me? And I said, yes, I trust you. Of course, I trust you. He said, trust me, it is authentic, but it's in terrible condition. It's all rusty parts, but I will restore it for you. And I said, okay, Serge, I'm going to commission you to do it. Uh, will you do it personally? He said, yes, absolutely. I said, now tell me how you know it's authentic. And what Serge says is because it belonged to my father. And my father and I were going to restore this motorcycle piece by piece in Normandy, France, where the family estate is. And the day we started, my father dropped dead and I was emotionally crushed. I took all the pieces, I put them in boxes, left them in Normandy, and I said, I can't do this. I can't restore it. It was supposed to be a project with my father. But I know about your museum. I've been to your gallery. And if you will commission me to restore it piece by piece, I will do it personally. If it's home, where it will reside is the museum. And I said, of course I will. And Serge did that restoration piece by piece. Some people believe it is the most beautiful restored version of the most beautiful motorcycle in history. And we have it in the museum. And the end of the story is the day that Serge came to Dallas and he saw his father's motorcycle in the museum and he was brought to tears. And once he started crying, my eyes started to water up too. And that's the story of the Majestic.